According to the FBI, the number of Americans buying guns continues to set new records. Students and experts at Ball State discuss the regulations of those sales in the community. News Inc. Indiana's Casey Miller has the story. As more people purchase guns, the debate about gun control rages on. Ball State Center for Peace and Conflict Studies hosted faculty and students today to talk about gun ownership. Some students at the panel expressed their desire to be able to carry handguns on campus. Police Chief James Duckham says current precautions already in place, like these emergency call lights, are enough to keep students safe. And that's my job, to protect the Ball State community, to provide for uh, students, faculty, staff, and I'm not convinced that having guns on campus would do that. Ball State does not allow guns on campus. Jeff Burke owns McGalliard Guns in Muncie. He says concealed carry should be allowed anywhere as long as gun owners are safe. We're more about responsible carry. If you're going to carry that gun, be responsible, go out and practice, know that firearm, know your weapon, uh, know how to, how to shoot the gun, how to clean the gun, etc., etc. Duckham says today's panel is a great opportunity to exchange ideas. Political science professor Sally Jo Vasico thinks the argument is all about how you phrase it. I think the disconnect sometimes goes back to vocabulary that we use. You, you, you use the word control and everybody bristles because it has a connotation to it. All parties seem to agree on one thing, gun owners need to be responsible. In Muncie, Casey Miller, Newslink, Indiana. The Center for Peace and Conflict Studies hopes to continue the conversation on gun ownership in the coming weeks.